The procedure for securing the upper dust band varies slightly depending upon the bore size of the cylinder being repaired. For one, one and one quarter, and one and one half inch cylinders, insert the trimmed dust band into the head closest to the piston and position the band above the band clamp. Tighten the socket head cap screw to hold the dust band in place. For two and two and one half inch cylinders, in the head closest to the piston, center the band wedge in the head slot, placing it over the trimmed inner sealing band. It is important that the band wedge be centered in the head slot opening, or the set screws will not hold the bands properly. Slide the band cover into the grooves of the head. Apply Loctite number 242 to the two set screws and tighten the screws to secure the bands. Install Carrier. Should the cylinder be equipped with optional switches, be certain when positioning the carrier on the cylinder that the magnet, located on the carrier bottom, faces the appropriate side. In most applications, this will be the port side of the cylinder. Position the carrier on the piston bracket assembly, visually lining up the holes on the carrier with the holes in the piston bracket. Insert the shoulder bolts into the holes with the heads on the port side of the cylinder. Thread the washer and nut on the end of each bolt to hold the carrier in place but do not tighten at this time. Insert the bearing rods into position on the carrier. Push the end caps on the tube. Place band inserts into the pockets on the end caps, curved portion towards the carrier and spring hole facing up. Insert a spring into the hole of the band insert. With a flat-headed screwdriver or similar tool, compress the spring and slide the end caps up to the carrier. Apply Loctite number 242 to the top end cap screw. Tighten while pushing down slightly on the top of the end cap to keep it aligned flush or slightly below the top of the carrier. This will allow a flat surface for any applicable mounting plates. Apply Loctite number 242 to the two remaining end cap screws and tighten. Repeat this procedure for the other end cap. Now tighten the shoulder bolt nuts. Proper tightness will allow the bolt to be rotated with an Allen wrench, but not by the fingers. The tightness of the shoulder bolts will directly affect the breakaway pressure required for the carrier to move, and adjustment will vary from application to application. The tighter the bolts, the higher the breakaway pressure required. Regardless, the carrier should be able to manually move freely without hesitation or binding. Secure free end of dust band. Work slack from bands by moving the carrier back and forth.
With a razor blade, strip excess rubber from the free end, keeping it flush with the end of the tube. Cut to the required trim length as before. Secure the free end of the dust band following the same procedures as described earlier for the bore size of your cylinder. Dampen a clean cloth in water-soluble cleaner and wipe the cylinder down thoroughly to eliminate any excess grease. Check the cylinder's internal cushions. Push the carrier to one end. You should be able to feel the cushion decelerate the carrier before the cushion bottoms out. If the carrier slams into the end of the cylinder, either the cushion seals have not been properly installed or the cushion needle valve is adjusted too far out. If the optional shock absorber kits are being used, this step can be eliminated as cushion seals were not installed. Repair of the BC2 band cylinder is now complete, but before installing it back on the application, check your airlines to be sure they are in good condition and free of leaks. Final cushion adjustment. When remounting the cylinder in an application where external shock absorbers are not being used, you may need to readjust the cylinder's internal cushions. Start by screwing the cushion needle valve all the way in, but do not tighten, then back it out slightly. Cycle the cylinder and back the cushion needle valve out as necessary to reduce the amount of cushion. Doing this will prevent the load from slamming into an under-adjusted cushion and prevent band damage caused from pressure spikes as a result of over-tightening the cushion needle valve. Through the use of this video and Tolomatic's repair kits, we hope to make the field repair of Tolomatic BC2 band cylinders as simple as possible. Should you have any unanswered questions, just call our Tolomatic hotline at 1-800-328 2174 and one of our knowledgeable salespeople will assist you.